Greek vase painting. The archaic period is a time of great achievement in Greece, both in literature and in art. In literature, we see the Aesop fables, and in art, we see lots of growing prosperity, and which made it, you know, the prosperity made it possible to create extraordinary sculptures and ceramics and large civic buildings and religious buildings, temples. Athens became the principal center for large ceramics and the exporter for vases in the Mediterranean area. Greek potters created beautiful vases whose standard shapes were tailored to their specific utilitarian purpose, which basically means that they were designed and shaped in a specific purpose, and they, their purpose was typically utilitarian, which means they were used to store water or wine or some sort of dry product. But the most important thing about that is that they were used for utilitarian purposes. They weren't just put on a shelf and meant to be beautiful. The portable amphora, for instance, stored provisions like oil or wine and had a large opening to admit a ladle, just like a soup ladle. So it would have been in there and then it would have been able to hold up. You would put a, like a little bend on the end so that it wouldn't fall into the pot. And it was there so that they could serve themselves wine. Craters was a large bowl for mixing water and wine. The Greeks never drank their wine straight because it was really strong. And painters wrote a myriad of inscriptions that were sometimes literally addressing addressing the viewer to the pot. So you would see inscriptions could explain the narrative scene or identify people or identify objects in the scene. You'll see when I go to the next piece of artwork what I'm talking about. The undersides of the vase usually indi um, indicated the selling transaction of the pots, so they were, they were told where they were going. Ceramic painters um, became highly accomplished at accommodating their pictures to the often awkward shapes to showcase scenes, evoking stories or narratives. The black figure technique became the principal mode of decoration through Greece, and which emphasized large figures drawn in black on red natural clay surface. So the background of the, the clay pots were the natural clay, and the figures were the black figures that were painted on. Other colors were burned in in high temperature kilns, and so after the pots had been fired, they would add the details and then and then fire again for those um, added colors like purple or white. Vase painting retained the horizontal bands and characteristics of the geometric period, so along with the registers where the information or the narrative was kept, they kept these narratives in registers, just like they did in the geometric period, and like they did in, in previous cultures, like in Mesopotamia. Perhaps the most famous of all Athenian black figure painters was Ezekias, who signed many of his vessels as both potter and painter, which was unusual, because typically um, men were the ones that made the vases, and women often decorated them. They were allowed to decorate, but they were not allowed to make vessels. And in this case, Ezekias, he was the potter, to make the paint, uh, pot, and they also painted it. He took on his subjects from Greek mythology, which many of them did. This is not a pot that you are going to need to have to know, but in talking about Greek vase, I wanted to show you an excellent example of the black figure, um, black, black figure style. So this is uh, from 540 uh, to 530 BCE, and it's ceramic, and it is two feet tall, so that's 24 inches. So this is the uh, two heroic figures. They're warriors. They're, this is Achilles and J Ajax, and they sit across from each other, supporting themselves on their spears as they lean in and play a game of dice. So there would have been some sort of battle or some sort of um, occupation where they were working, and this would have just been a break time for them to sit and relax a little bit. Ajax on the right calls out three, the words written in diagonal, which would have been here. And Achilles counters with the four, which is the winning number, and his numbers are here. Go to a slide when you get a little bit closer. And you can see here, it's not just here that we see we see it up here and we see it up here and it's written all over the pot. Achilles later dies in battle and Ajax takes his own life in despair in the loss of his foe, in 
or friend in this case. For Greek, uh, Greek familiar with story, this portrays the friendly play would have been a reminder of war. And they all would have known what this story was. This was not. This would have been a very familiar story to them. Artists are often included identifying labels besides the characters to guide the viewers in the narrative. So this was common to have this writing on the vase. But let's take a look at the beautiful ins um, incising, the carving that has taken place on this this vase. So always keep in mind this is black figure. So. The clay is the red that's there to come, that's there, it's coming through, the color's coming through once it's fired. And the figure is actually painted in black. It would have been a black slip. And then they actually carve out. So what's coming through is the red clay that's coming out, that red clay to, to create all of that detail work that's going on here. Later, the red style, the red figure style was created and so they painted black and then they would leave the red to just come through and it allowed a lot more flow and um, details in in the actual pieces because they were leaving the clay to come through, leaving the red clay to come through rather than actually having to paint it on and then incise it with the details. <clears throat> 